Well, let's just say it. Small kitchens are tough. Yeah, very tough. <laughs> So today we're back at Jesse and Jackie's house and we're going to tackle their kitchen. Now, Jackie was the one that applied for us to come to their house and then she was like, well... The kitchen's actually Jesse's space because yep. he does all the cooking. Yep. And she outed him that he had a quarantine box or two quarantine boxes <laughs> that they had done a little while ago. So we had to start with that and see if yeah. there was anything in there that he had missed. So Jackie made you do a quarantine then, yep. right? Yep. So how long ago did you guys put this into storage? 20 years ago. Yeah. And you're the cook, I'm right? The cook so you right are more attached yeah. to this stuff. Correct. And you said you did pull out like one thing from it. So now I'm hesitant to even let you look at it <laughs> now. Well. What are you thinking you, that you'd want to pull out if, we did, if we're going to donate it to it. I mean, maybe these just okay. because we, oh, no, we're getting our <laughs> <laughs> We're getting our this is Roll reversal from the toys, by the way. <laughs> Jessica's like, here are the toys. They're gone. Yeah. Donate. But this yeah. is totally different now. <laughs> She's doing what I do. <laughs> uh, no, because we, you'd be surprised that you don't need all these pots and pans. Yep. Like, like you get, ooh, there's a set. You're like, you don't need it all. You really yes. don't. Yes, and, right. um These are cool. This is like well, these are the cool. nesting. These, the the yeah, nest, like, well, blue is my favorite color, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, these are neat. And I'd be, I'd be, okay with wanting to keep maybe some of the smaller ones but like these three larger ones maybe like get rid of them because we have three that we use primarily so yeah um these... it's like a cool idea but it, realistically you never really use no. it yeah and i don't know maybe just leaving it as a whole set like just that might be a good idea. yeah that's probably the better idea um and these we've you know we've used you haven't missed them we, them we have others that we use so well, isn't it true that like like really good chefs actually don't use a lot of equipment, yes. right? And they don't That's rely correct. on a lot of gadgets or appliances mm -hmm. to have a good the knife. The higher quality good... of the um, tools that you use, the less you need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you feel like you're getting to a place where you have some of those tools yeah. and the good stuff that yeah. you know what you like? And that's awesome. I was actually worried when he was looking through the quarantine boxes because I was like, oh no, he's going to pull stuff out. But he didn't. That was No, cool. he like, he did very well. Mm -hmm. I was surprised because yeah, when we were going through the kid stuff, he was like pretty ruthless. Yeah. <laughs> and then when she turned the tables on him about the kitchen, yeah. he kind of seemed like, uh oh. Uh. <laughs> but no, he did. He got rid of a lot. Yeah. And so I think probably two things that we would encourage you with if you have a small kitchen. The first thing is inventory. You have to be ruthless with what's in your kitchen because it's not going to function well and it's just going to feel cramped and like everything is shoved in. All right, Jesse. so what year was your house built? 1966. Okay, so mid-60s. And so a very typical style of kitchen for the 60s. Here's the thing about inventory. Sometimes we're limited by energy and time constraints, and other times we're limited by square footage in our kitchen, right? How much cabinet space do we have? How much countertop space? So the first step, though, is always to see if we can reduce any more inventory. Let's just make a pass through your cabinets and see if there's anything else that we can quarantine, donate, or throw away, and we have bins uh, for each of those now. And you could tell that he had he had gone through the whole kitchen mm -hmm. like maybe six months ago or a yeah. year ago. Mm -hmm. You could tell that he had he had implemented a lot of things already. So yeah, no. That was really cool. It wasn't horrible. No. It, it, it's just small, like when you're short yeah. on, on cabinet space. Let's start with like dishes and um, pots and pans. So why don't you show us where you keep that so, stuff? So, um, dishes are in here. Okay. Um, great. And then pots and pans are right down here there. and like, I think the bigger one's on the other side. Okay, so you can get to it from the other side. Right. Have to do. Well, you already got the minimalist white dish for this side yeah. That's right. And this actually looks pretty good. Do you feel like this cabinet functions pretty well? Better now after we've gone through it. You have yeah. gone through it a couple mm -hmm. times. Awesome, so. then let's move on. This is kind of an awkward cabinet a little bit, right? So you would need to really keep your inventory down for it to function well because um, what ends up happening is you find yourself cramming to yeah fit it all right so it's this cabinet and then you can reach through from the other side is where you keep yes. all your Correct. your pots and pans wow yeah you don't have a lot of like lower cabinet space do you no. 
And so the second thing that's helpful is just to have an outside perspective. I mean, when he first opened that cabinet door where they store their pots and pans, I was like, oh no. <laughs> This, it just felt so hard to get stuff in and out of there. And I'm like, yeah. we use pots and pans every single day. So ideally you want to have it somewhere where it's really easy. Mm -hmm. So that's when I was like, okay, what's in that other cabinet next to the stove? Do you feel like that cabinet would function better for your pots and pans or no? Like it's a little easier to get in and out of or? I think it might because it's bigger on the bottom. Yeah, because pots this. and pans are big, but the, yeah. but storage containers are little. So this is sometimes where just having an outside perspective, you know, of being like, what if we swap this around? I'm just even noticing like it doesn't feel as dark in there. Like it's a little bit easier to see. And so I wonder if we swapped this stuff around and in the process, we'll just make one more quick pass through to make sure everything is getting used sure. that's in there. I love that you're storing your um, food storage containers with the lids on. <laughs> Do you like that? Yeah. Oh, handy? absolutely. So the ones in the bottom, Jesse unloaded the dishwasher this morning. <laughs> so that's why they're not sure. on. Yeah. But yes, that was an amazing tip when I saw you suggest that. I was like, oh, yeah. that makes total sense. So the other thing then that we sometimes do with cabinets like this is to kind of like make a drawer is we'll put a bin in it so that you can pull it out and easily see what's in the back. And so I was glad that we could just flip flop those and it really felt a whole lot better then. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you're looking at, we got all the food storage containers. Are, do we use all of these? Yes. Okay, because you have limited space in your kitchen, so anything we keep in here, we really want to make sure that it all gets used. And that's fine. If you use it all, that's great. I think we could get rid of some of those red. Okay, like those these? ones? Yeah. Okay, because you do have, like, these ones are really nice, so yeah. I could see where those ones might not get used as much. Yeah. Okay. Food storage, you all. You keep too many food storage containers. We don't actually use that many. If you are really realistic with yourselves. And please. like, you know how like we used to like stack them inside mm -hmm. of each other and then pile up the lids? Mm -hmm. It's so much faster to just grab it if it's already together. Yeah, so you believe in that method too? I do. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay, so what we like to do in cabinets that can be kind of hard to access like Jesse was having to like reach way to the back to get some stuff, is to make our own drawers by using plastic bins. So that way we can slide it out, see everything that's in. Is this okay with you if the pots are stored with the lids open? Yeah. Okay. There we go. So then you put that with that, so then you can just pull it out, grab your pot, and you go about your business? Yes. Is that okay? My hope is that that'll function a little bit better. I think it already is. Okay. <laughs> Good. All right, so then let's turn our attention over here. Oh, we have more. Good. No. All right, we'll give that one to Jackie. Thank you. Okay, so this baking stuff, do we use all of this? Do we um, not? on a regular basis. Okay. How irregularly? Like Christmas baking or? We quarantine some of it. Yeah. Okay. Which stuff would you quarantine? Are these like a smaller cupcake or are they yeah. like Yeah, mini cupcake. Yeah, mini cupcake. That probably could get quarantined. For sure. Unless it fits under here. <laughs> it's kind of big. Yeah. <laughs> for sure the loaf pans will keep for banana bread. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. And the round ones? Well, they were just acquired. <laughs> okay. Um, Should we quarantine them or do you let's use quarantine them? Okay. Sounds good. In the spring form. Yep. Should we quarantine it though? Because yep. how often do you sure. make cheesecake? Okay. Ooh, cheesecake. Once a month. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll take the loaf pans. We'll keep those. And then where do you keep like the rest of your cake pans and stuff in here? <laughs> So this isn't bad. No. So would your loaf pans fit then in here for simplifying? Yep. Yeah. yeah. They do. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, we'll keep all that. It's always nice to, if, when possible, to keep everything together. We're doing good. This is great. Okay. So then we just have these. Do you use the um, the cooling racks? Yes, we do. Yep. So we want these to go down there. So yeah. I think we, I don't know if they're gonna fit. Well, 
That might That's still make nice. it easier than yeah. having to try and get down here and look, right? Mm -hmm. And probably you don't use this stuff like all the time, no, no, right? No. Okay. Okay. Our island, when we built it, we intentionally built the island with mm -hmm. only drawers. There's yeah. no cabinet doors, it's all pull out drawers. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of the idea you're going for with by putting baskets in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so you can pull everything out. I think in an ideal scenario, we would have like built those slider right. drawers for everybody's cabinets. Yeah. So they can just pull everything Slide out. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, bins are the next best thing. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're a ladybug, you're a cricket. I'm a ladybug, so I understand that. Tom's actually a cricket too. So I, I feel like I'm getting a grasp on what we like, what we all like. And mostly it's having stuff out of sight. And so um, I talk about quite a bit trying to keep our kitchen counters clean or clear, cleared off, which is hard in a small space, right? Mm -hmm. How would you guys feel about trying to pare down some of the stuff on the counters? Mm -hmm. And again, it can just be an experiment. Like you can mm -hmm. try and live with it for a month and you're like, you yeah. know, that's dumb or yeah, I really like it that way. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's just talk through some of this stuff quick. idea then if it's like yes we use this all the time and usually these are too tall to like fit oh <laughs> <laughs> you have more food storage containers up oh here my gosh. We are being exposed. yeah <laughs> totally okay it's good you love because how you admitted that <laughs> we might have just found a spot to put this stuff that you use all the time yeah. that's right it is tall enough <laughs> like, no close the door <laughs> actually don i think you need to leave now <laughs> 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 All right, let me just grab a shot of this real quick because that's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was fun and telling how they had, what was it, two full different cabinets of food storage yeah. containers. <laughs> That was funny when I that opened was really that funny. <laughs> Cause it's like you just got done down below. Yep. And it, and you're like, okay, cool. Now we're done with all that. And you open the next cabinet, and you're like, what? You have a hole down there. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Now these look nice, but do you use them? Not. No. You know better. No. We could choose one or the other. I really like the snap ones. Yeah, you might want to like more. swap out for so we're gonna have Jackie or we'll or guess you Jesse figure out of your storage containers. Which are your favorites and which do you, which do you use? Because um, I want to see if this stuff can fit. So it's still very easy to get to, yeah. but um, it's just up off the counter. Okay, I'll let you grab that sure. stuff down and decide. Is that all stuff you use or not so much? Anything that you, that you use, like, I mean, this is obviously your cooking stuff, right? That you that you use trash yeah. did you use that strainer yeah okay so let's put it in here because then we'll just be able to grab it down and pull out anything sure. that you need yeah good we don't use that often okay do we want to quarantine it or um donate it we'll quarantine it okay. sure good wood bowl yes there's that one okay so this gets used a lot yes okay oh, man. Take a look at that. How does that like? Is I feel that too? More, no, I feel like it's more functional because then you can just pull out the pull out the oils, use it in the pan, mm -hmm. put it back. Salt, open reach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, just I think just the idea of thinking a little bit more outside of the box. Yep. If we need to move stuff around to make it function really well, well, then we're not afraid to do that. Okay. So French press, we do use or don't we use? We haven't used. Mm -hmm. for we'll a while. quarantine we it. Quarantine yep. it. Good. Okay. And then these, do we think, I'm guessing with how many we have here, right. that we could swap out for whichever ones you like truly use the most. And then we're just going to use this as our container and keep whatever fits down there. If we were going to keep something, I would say the ones with the colors and then yeah, this, the and then ones. we can let those, yeah, go. Can let those go. Okay. Here's our making this really easy. I can change it up. <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm like start crying. <laughs> no! You're so no. heartless! 
now where he can tug it out of my hands. I'm like, I'm not letting this go. That would make for a great like, commercial, right? Like, coming up next week. <laughs> Jesse chasing Dawn down the street. <laughs> so, as you guys, okay, so fruit dish, there's not, yeah. So that will probably keep out. And so you use the lamp for extra lighting in here? Okay, so that's like a practicality thing. I mean, it might be something down the road that you might want to just find like a mm -hmm. under cabinet light, but that's up to you. So how does that, I mean, it's not like arranged super cute, but like, how does that feel to you compared to when this other stuff was over there too? Oh, a lot better. Yeah, I mean, that's it's okay. More, way more open. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other thing, you know, knowing they're both a, a ladybug and a cricket, so they're organizing style. So they like stuff out of sight. So when I saw all the stuff on top of the fridge, I was like, I get why that's there. Like, I understand when you have small spaces, why we use yeah, the top of the fridge. It's practical. But I was like, it just doesn't feel good, <laughs> right? Like you look at it, you're like, it's kind of stressful looking at it. It feels cluttered. I'm just wondering, I think it would feel better in here if, there, if the stuff wasn't on top of the fridge. I get why you're doing it because you're short on storage space. Mm -hmm. But maybe even we could make some room on here oh, for some of the idea. cereal boxes. You had mentioned this was a, a free gift, but you were kind of still, the jury was out on it. Yeah, yep. and the jury is in and it can go. It can go! <laughs> <laughs> that really... was so easy! <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> well, because you learn that, or one common thing we do use, to get it out, it was just, it was more, it was more, more work than, than it was worth. Yeah. Awesome. So we're gonna let that go, and then we can put cereal boxes here. If that's oh, yeah. the best of those things. Yeah. Okay, so then we can put the bottles inside that cabinet. If well, I mean we can. Um, some of them will go back downstairs. I have a liquor shelf that they can sit okay. on. Okay. So why don't you grab anything that can go downstairs, and uh, Jackie can run it for you. Mm -hmm. She's your runner. <laughs> So I was glad that we could find a new home for the cereal boxes and then make use. They weren't using the cabinet behind it because there was stuff in front and they said we didn't really know what to put in that cabinet. Awesome. So can you reach up there okay yep. then? Okay. So these ones can go in there. Yep. Well, where's our little plant? We can put that in there then. So you have something cute in there. You mean the like, cool bottles aren't cute though? Uh, well, no, Maybe I mean, in a frat house. Kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, if you want to throw that up there, too. <laughs> we'll see if that makes her heart happy. We, th we found a spot for the plan. <gasps> Perfect. Oh, I love it. So I was mm -hmm. glad that we could move some stuff in there, and it, it looked nice, too. Like, if you're going to have a glass door, it has to, like look yeah. nice too so i thought yeah. that turned out really well and then i also just encourage jesse like it's fun having like artwork and pictures on the fridge but to use it sparingly if visual clutter just kind of like stresses you out a little bit to just only put a few things on the fridge and and rotate it out just to mostly keep it cleared off are all of these still like current foods that you guys are using is there anything that could get donated or um that you're like, yeah, I bought it for a recipe, we didn't end up making it. Yeah. <laughs> She's a guy. <laughs> I keep rice. buying wild rice thinking I'm like, I'm gonna make wild rice too. Um, but the, real, the realism is not That's there. a fantasy self thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Again, only because we have limited mm -hmm. real estate. If, if you right. had a, you know, a big pantry and you could keep, oh, pumpkin, and we can go bunt cake. What? I'll take well, those. There you go. <laughs> I was going to use these for a recipe and never end up using them. And they are, are really big, big cans. Yeah. These are yeah. really big cans. So we can donate them. And it's amazing how sometimes just taking a minute just to like make a quick pass through, mm -hmm. turn all the labels forward, just tidy it up a little bit. Just feels so much better. That was one other tip too that you mentioned that we well, already spent the money on it. It's gone. There's nothing you can do about right? it. Just, so that corner cabinet, like I joked about it, but it was pretty surprising how much stuff came out of there. I think those, we've seen those corner cabinets for decades mm. and there's always, they're just weird. Even if they have like the spinny thing, yeah. like then stuff falls off them and still yeah. falls into that back corner. So those yeah. corner cabinets are tough. They are. So let's look at what kind of stuff we have in here. So you have all of your uh, food preservation, mm -hmm. like when you keep it, Ziploc bags, and it looks like you had like party supply stuff. Mm -hmm. 
in there. So, I mean, really the best thing you can do, keep the inventory down. And then again, if you can use bins, so at least you can pull the bin out. And so um, they had some like extra party supplies in there. So they're like, we're gonna move that to our bin in the basement that has all of the actual party stuff. So we were able to relocate that. Yeah. Um, and then otherwise add in a basket for some of the loose like bags and stuff that were in there and just overall reduce some of the other inventory. It's still, I mean, it's not perfect. It, it's, it doesn't, but you're not no. like looking at her like, wow, that's like so cool. But I do think it functions a little better and they can still get to the things that they need. And then the utensil drawer next to the sink. So Jesse cooks, Jackie does the dishes and puts stuff away then. And so she had said that utensil drawer had been bugging her because when she'd go to put stuff away, it was too full. So it was kind of hard to put stuff away. So she's like, he wasn't, I don't know that he, he was like, it was fine. And Jackie's like, no, go through it. <laughs> oh, you have a lot of spatulas. <laughs> you use that many spatulas? Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> um, no judgment here. <laughs> at one time. Not at one time. <laughs> okay, I will thin it down. <laughs> so, I think it's funny too how initially we might be like, oh no, I use all that stuff in there. But when you really start pulling it out, yeah. he got rid of probably a third of the stuff he that was did, in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So again, Jesse does most of the cooking in their mm -hmm. household. So he had acquired quite a few cookbooks. And I asked him, I said, okay, like if you're just gonna look through a cookbook, where do you do that? Do you do it in the kitchen? Or are you more likely just to go sit in the living room and look through it? And he was like, oh, living room, for sure. So I was like, what if we relocated some of these to where you keep books? And I guess they had a bookshelf in their bedroom where his books go. And so he did a quick sort through, got rid of quite a few of them, mm -hmm. and then we moved the bulk of them into there. And so I think too, when you have a small kitchen, just being willing to think outside of the box, like not everything has to get stored in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. What's hard to get on video, I think sometimes, is how much better a space feels. All right, so how do you feel about your kitchen now? It's not perfect, it doesn't look like the home edit came here, but my hope is it feels a little more functional. Oh yeah, definitely. Don't you think? Yes. Make it much easier more. to cook. Yeah. And clean. Yeah. Were you surprised when Jesse was pulling everything out of that corner cabinet? How much came out? <laughs> it's remarkable, it's a isn't it? Pit, yeah. yeah. I know, and you're not alone. Like, no. I mean, so many of us can really, especially those corner cabinets. Mm -hmm. They're horrible. Thank you for letting us come to your house. Mm -hmm. Thank you for letting us see your mess. Obviously, we saw like <laughs> all of it, but I, our hope is that it's helpful to others too. Right. Yes. I don't think this is like a, oh my goodness, dramatic before and afters because I almost feel like you need to be in the kitchen just to f like see like, oh, it just feels better. The spaces function better. The cabinets function better. And so again, it just comes down to inventory. Keep paring down the inventory in your kitchen until it feels good and it functions well, no matter what the size is. So thank you again, Jesse and Jackie, for letting us come into your house, for sharing all your inside all your kitchen cabinets like that takes some bravery <laughs> yeah <laughs> every single cabinet that was really cool so we're really grateful to you and we hope that it's helpful to you who are watching yes. too and i hope that you were able to work in your kitchen alongside of us and get some decluttering done so we hope that you have a really great weekend we love you and we'll see you again soon Bye bye